Should I do that? Three or four? Four, 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 four. 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 D, D makes the call. Three. Three, right? Okay. Okay, I'll do four. I'll, I'll, I'll tell a general uh, uh, thing if you're not noticed. Um, so, okay, first go sequence. Um, pretty, what an evaluation. So I'll definitely give it to you. It's not just flatter you. It's not because you're evaluating first time. You are spot on. I'll tell you why. And I'm going to follow what you did actually. You analyzed it very well. You didn't say it's a, you said it's a great speech, but you also went through your analytical thing of why it was a great speech. And, and frankly, that is really challenging, right? You just said I like it. It was a great speech, and it was a great speech for A, B, C, D. It showed phenomenal skill, just not in terms of observation, or analyzing, but also expressing very clearly. I'm absolutely sure it was a great speech, and these are the four reasons why. Second thing, you really ended with a very positive note and very apt for a CC1. He's done a great job, so very well done. Kudos to uh, BJK. <laughs> and our guest Nandini, again, thanks for coming to Menli and uh, taking him the road. And again, great job. Another CC1. She also, if you really see, started off very positively. And again, went through the speech in, 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 in her own critical, uh, specific, positive uh, aspects. And that's how I see one typically is evaluated. Right? And then, uh, so that you just tell the speaker how pretty good in so many things. And then start your journey on a positive note. Very well done. Let's also give her a big hand. OK, CC4. Uh, I'll take a few seconds to talk about CC4. CC4 is the most important CC project, uh, in my opinion. I'll tell you why. And also, most. Uh, most most of us don't understand this project very well. CC4 is all about creating vivid images. Why you create vivid images is very simple because forty percent of us are visual learners. How many of you know what is the percentage of visual, auditory, kinesthetic learners? Okay. Can I have a minute? Can I have a minute? Okay. See for. If you take as in general when you want to connect with the audience, forty percent of us are visual learners. Visual can be looking at PPT, visual also because we are not going to use some visual images always live on stage. It is also creating that in the mind of the audience. That is the power of a speaker. Forty percent are auditory where your voice can control the connection. Some of the great in fact Gurujis you can just just see, right? They have a very powerful voice if you have noticed. Right? I mean a lot of lot of people do lectures, spiritual lectures, they connect very well. Do you agree? And then if you really look at it, most of the aspects are voice. They connect very well with the voice. They modulate very well. So 40% are auditory and 20% are kinesthetic. Kinesthetic is by definition learning by doing. So we're not going to do any experiment here, but learning by doing translates to emotional connect in a speech. When I talk about your mom, my mom or my mom's illness, everybody will connect. There's not a single person I'm going to use. So using emotions, you connect. Right? So 40, 40, 20. So a good speaker, we don't know. We can only assume average 40, 40, 20. You need to bring all these aspects of stage. That is why some of the speeches, when you see, oh, it's a great speech, everyone feels because they've got their own aspect of uh, learning covered by the speaker. Either, and most of the great speakers really practice. Okay. Now so CC4 aspect brings one aspect, very important aspect, is creating vivid imagery. It's not only for the visual learners. There's a word vivid if you look at the objective. Very important thing is transporting the audience to the scene. If you are on a vacation in a mountain, the audience should be there with you. If you are on a train, the audience should be with you. If you are in a restaurant, the audience should be smelling the sambar, eating with you. There are various techniques to create that. So sorry for taking extra time. CC4, please, if you are going to do CC4, understand CC4 very, very well. This is very important in your future speeches. It's very important for storytelling. It's very important to connect with the audience in any form you want, right? So just keeping that in context, okay, now coming back, you analyzed very well, you gave a very, very good uh, suggestion, your positives were spot on, everything was fine, you talked about, talk about similes, metaphors, all those things, wonderfully done. My only suggestion is, if you take CC4 in a little holistic view, it is about whether the speaker really connected with the audience in terms of transporting the audience to the scene. So where you with Ruben? Or were you in his house, Ruben's house, when Ruben's father was shouting, or mother was shouting at his father? That is the answer. If yes, yes, it says your objective is uh, yes, uh, not that. So look at aspects of whether you were there in the scenes, at least part of the speech, right? 
So when you when you do always look at the objectives and also see if uh, the speaker could transport the audience, create vivid images, and using similes metaphors is only as an aid. It is not the main thing. I just wanted to clarify that. Otherwise, uh, analysis and recommendation are spot on. All the best to you. Back to you. Thank you.
with vivid expressions. Okay, now I'd like to point out some misuses. Uh, normally, like we are aware of a lot of misuses when writing, but when you're speaking, these things automatically slip out, but unless they're corrected, we continue to do them, so I'd like to point out some things. Uh, one of the best place, when you're gonna say one of the, it has to end in a plural, one of the best places, because you're saying one of the many things, so it's places. And sometimes, when we're using, when you have, have to pa pause in a speech, like inadvertently, uh, obviously not pausing is the best thing, but when we pause, sometimes like, uh, he is a, uh, and then we think of the next word, and we end up saying engineer, or something like, he is a engineer, which, is, which comes out grammatically wrong. So I suggest that people say, people pause at he is, and then say an engineer, or something like that. And more prepare is wrong. Uh, it is more preparation or prepare more. More opportunity. Again, it's, uh, plural, more opportunities. Uh, more is always obviously used with uh, plural, unless it's referring to something which is not quantifiable, like uh, water. With, uh, I need some more water. And uh, pronunciation, I have one. And environment is pronounced environment and not environment. And the plural of Throw is through and not throat. And uh, child, plural of child is children. And sometimes people accidentally use children's. Uh, I ask them to avoid this. And when you're talking about, uh, when you're mentioning a country, you never uh, say the, something like, the India is my country is wrong. It should be just India. But you, you don't say, you don't use an article before the country. So it's Australia beat England. And I have a grammar tip as well. Uh, so this is the usage of singular and plural for groups. Something like a team of four is participating. It shouldn't be a team of four are participating. A team of four people are participating is wrong because a team is a collective word. A team is a single group of people. You are referring to that group and not the people. So a team of four is participating in that tournament or a pack of chips is going to be eaten or even something like everyone is present in this meeting today it's not everyone are present so yeah thank you thank you now it's finally time for the general evaluator support uh, the meeting started on time medley is known for that now and uh, there were a, lo a, lo a few last minute uh, dropouts when it comes to evaluators, but they told us well in advance, so we were able to manage. So I advise all of you to not drop out if it's possible, but if it's an emergency, then please inform uh, Toastmaster Sunil well in advance that we can arrange for someone else. And um, <coughs> the hall was arranged um, before the meeting started. The board was filled very neatly. I don't know who did it. And uh, everything was arranged properly. And uh, the TT uh, session was very innovative. It was a lot of fun. But I advise, you know, uh, I suggest that you uh, decide where the table is going to be kept. Maybe we can talk to the sergeant arms in advance and uh, decide that. Um, overall, the meeting was awesome. Yes? Yes. 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 Or, yeah, so is everybody full of spirit to have the badas spell yes. of it? It's really enticing. So I won't take too long. I do want to uh, again reiterate that I may not be a green horn when it comes to teaching, but I still am learning as a student when it comes to be a good teacher who can impact somebody for not only a year, but a, for a whole lifetime. So I would like to end this session with a small joke on a teacher whom I remember I think till my death then, because he was not only a good teacher, but he is also in our WhatsApp group of students, the funniest one. And the way we remember him, and this is from uh, class one through all the way to 10, we have a group of friends who call him the teacher Varanda. Why is he called Varanda? He's a maths teacher, very strict. And if we even come late or do not submit the homework, all he says to us is Varanda, Varanda which means we just have to get out of the class. So we still have memories, sweet memories of such teachers. I'm sure everybody has. So I end this meeting 
with uh, a call for the presiding officer to take over the post. Thank you. Thank you. We are waiting him. Actually, the time was uh, five. But unfortunately, we had some of the sessions up, uh, went beyond the time. So that's what uh, normally the meeting is scheduled, supposed to be in a tightly packed thing. These are documents that can be error. So um, sorry for that, first of all. And second, now um, we are towards the end of the meeting. Before that, there are a few more things that are going to happen here. The first is uh, for the any, and, uh, any Toastmaster meeting, the New members are inducted. It's not like you walk in and we, we take you and we ask you to sit there and then that's all. There is a formal, small formal uh, induction ceremony that is going to be conducted by uh, Vice President membership, Toastmaster Priyanka. Priyanka, please. Dear Toastmasters, it gives me great privilege today to um, induct five new members into our Medley Toastmasters Club. Members join Toastmasters to improve their communication and leadership. And we, the old members of Medley, have the opportunity to help them grow and improve. So I will uh, request the new members to come here and join me on stage when I call their name. Please withhold any applause till the end of the ceremony. Toastmaster Joe's sisters, Toastmaster Lokesh Chandar, Toastmaster Balaji Anandan. Toastmaster Adarsh Ram. Toastmaster Arjun Kleed. Now I'll read out the oath which every uh, every member who joins the Toastmaster Club for the first time has to take. So, uh, to dear Toastmasters, uh, will you make a firm obligation to attend meetings regularly and prepare fully for each assignment, to apply yourself to the program outlined in the Toastmasters manual, to participate actively in club activities, to evaluate others in a positive, constructive manner, to build open and friendly relationships with your fellow members and to bring new members to the club so that they can also gain from the benefits of Toastmasters. Please say I will. I will. I will. Now I request our uh, old members to stand up. Old members. Old, old members. <laughs> they can be young in age. <laughs> so this is the oath which the members, current members are taking to the new members saying that we will help, okay. We, the members of Medley Toastmasters Club, pledge to support you in your quest for self development, to provide you with positive, helpful evaluations, to maintain a friendly, supportive atmosphere, to give you opportunities to help others, and to make your Toastmasters membership a rewarding and fulfilling experience. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now we can. Thank you, Priyanka. <laughs> for the just uh, well, this, this is one of the uh, unique ceremonies which happens in those masters. Now we will go to another small money where the first timers are being felicitated. Uh, here we celebrate the first time roles, first time speakers, as well as the last, uh, I mean not last, the final speakers. <laughs> <laughs> ten. So both are equally important for. Uh, Toastmaster Club. Today, two speakers gave their first speech from the Com Competent Communication Manual. I would like to welcome both of them, uh, Joe's sisters and Ramesh Durai Sami. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Once they sit, please stand up and tell us how it is starting ovation. Please take a seat. Thank 
other than that, there are there were the uh, first timers, our timer, uh, Balaji, then our uh, grammarian, Arjun, and others. All of them are doing their roles for the first time. We are celebrating it. You also make us. And he said, our Sarajit Ram's uh, BT, he was the son of the Congratulations and uh, please keep helping the club in future. Okay. And now the first time evaluator, PD was doing the evaluation role for the first time. Let's give a round of applause. <laughs> now the this is our now the club is unique in one another aspect. There's a listening quiz. So this we are sitting here and uh, we we, this time onwards we are introducing a listening quiz master. Today the listening quiz master will listen to all the things and frame the questions is Toastmaster Janini. Then you please come and just have a, a few, there will be five questions, you will explain the role. I will ask you five questions based on what we heard today. Uh, if I ask you questions from prepared speeches, the speaker, his mentor and the evaluator cannot answer. Please raise your hands if you know the answer, I will call on you. Don't announce it. Once you ask, only the, before that they don't shout. They should not shout. Please don't shout. <laughs> yeah. First question: How many projects are there in the leadership manual? Okay. Does not say Kalilu. Okay. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Give us. Give us. Help me, going. Okay. What? Um. Okay. What? Which school did Joe study till the 10th? Yes, Joseph? Yeah, correct. From which uh, country did Ilay Raja's company get a conference call? Yes, correct. How many subjects did Toastmaster Thomas Abraham give topics on? Yes? Okay. Can you Okay. Um, what is last question? What is the name of Vilay Raja's best friend? Oh, sorry, I'm uh, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, Priyanka? Ruben. Correct. Ruben. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. It was wonderful. So week after week there will be a listening quiz master. Anybody who interested can contact me. So Okay, and uh, now there are few announcements we are uh, getting towards the end of the meeting. One, uh, the club has a newsletter coming up the next month. So September 12th is the last day for submitting the articles for newsletter. So please, members, please, I mean, give the the articles to Toastmaster Tushar and all the editorial team. What the editorial team here? Yeah? Uh, no one is here. Yeah. Kopika, as is. And uh, Jeremy. Yeah, Jeremy is here. Okay. Please give to Tushar. He is a VP. Uh, yeah. Oh, VP, yeah. yeah, sorry. VP of the club. So September 12th is the last day. Second, there is a contest happening in on September 19th. That is area level contest. We had a club level contest. The next level is area. This will be happening on September 19th in Tech Mahindra, right? Tech Mahindra. So please, all the members, please attend that. We'll be hearing more, a lot of humorous speeches as well as evaluations. There will be separate communication on this. Third, the most important thing for the club members, the re this is the renewal time. The most of you have renewed, around 70, 75 percent renewal has happened so far. Still people have to renew. And uh, September 12th is the last day for renewal. 3,650 3, 3, is the renewal fee. Um, already Mahesh would have given a mail. Please uh, make sure that you pay before September 12th to avail this. After this, this will be according to the international market. The, the uh, rates will be fluctuating because of US dollar. So you may have to give more money. And next Saturday and Sunday, there are meetings. Sunday meetings are a speciality of uh, Toastmasters, monthly Toastmasters. Next Saturday, the meeting will happen here at uh, 2.55. Sunday, in IATM uh, Research Park, uh, morning 10 o'clock, there will be a meeting. So please try to use this opportunity for and uh, uh, to better yourself. Anybody who wants roles in this meeting for the Sunday meeting, please contact me.
other meetings is full. Next week, the strategic meeting is full. Now, for the, the guests who are present here, there is a guest fee of 100 rupees. And if you are a student, you have only 50 rupees. And uh, those who are joining today, uh, this, this uh, fees will be waived. The fees can be paid to uh, Toastmaster Devaraj, who is part of the Treasure team, and the VPPR Toastmaster Tusha. And now we are going to the final part, the award part. Where is the award for? <laughs> ah, sorry, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, if you, I'll uh, take a few guest feedback uh, about the meeting, how it happened, how did you feel? So can I have some? Yeah. First of all, um, I got this uh, information from Malayraja, so I said, more in my introduction. And uh, like, this format I received, you know, every meeting I used to get like this. But we never uh, go through all those things. And, but uh, in this, uh, I found that each and every part of the topics were discussed. And even uh, I was surprised to see this uh, 3, 4, 5, and 1, 2, 1 and all. But everything was discussed and uh, realized what it, what it means. Yeah. And this meeting is uh, totally professionally organized and very structured and uh, uh, it's fully um, enthusiastic for uh, the newcomers and definitely we have. Um, helpful for uh, uh, improving the communication as well as relationships. That's what I'm really convinced on this. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, the, uh, the feedback for the meeting. Uh, yeah. Uh, when I came here to check out how it works, I was like a little uh, skeptical. But once I'm done with the meeting, uh, I've like almost set my mind to be part of Toastmaster. It was very effective on me. So, yeah. So, I can take two more, yeah, please. Hi, um, actually, speaking in front of the public, I thought of uh, nothing, so you can go and take. But uh, when I came here, you know, looking at this, really, there is a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of what I would say, a lot of science is there. I think mean, scientific way of uh, evaluating the communication, and how to improve that. This is this is really great. Actually, I never thought of this. Uh, thank you for first time uh, giving this opportunity to for uh, and Thanks for all. Uh,
that is what teamwork is. Okay, <laughs> the team has <laughs> briefed me about the about the happiness. Now, the the best role player of the day is Toshmas of India. The best table topic speaker, Toastmaster Jeremy. <laughs> the best evaluator, the first time evaluator, Toastmaster PT. And the best speaker, Toastmaster Kalidu Rahman. Okay, the meeting comes to an end. Please enjoy your snacks and get your doubts clear. The meeting is adjourned. <laughs>